Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you all you replayers on YouTube and on IG for watching this. So, I am headed back to Texas today. So I thought I'd do a quick reading for tomorrow, uh, the 22nd of April. That's Sunday, uh, 2018. Uh, I'll be uploading this to YouTube before I head out. Um, if you follow me on IG, you'll see me on my travels. Welcome, welcome everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Cindy. I am the modern day spiritual advisor. I use multiple modalities, including tarot, to help you on your path. So I will come out, I think, with the weeklies tomorrow. I'm headed again, headed back to Texas. Um, and so I thought I'd do this really quickly before I head on a plane. So hi, hi, thank you. I will have a safe trip. So we're going to start with Gemini today, and uh, and then we'll go Cancer, because I think I was supposed to start with Cancer, but we're going to start with Gemini. So, hello, hello. I see. So I want to thank all of those of you that uh, have bought my merchandise, have bought the apparel. Um, a lot of thought went into those shirts, and those are the uh, Zodiac Thoughts, so... Um, and the Your Path and Lovey Lovey uh, Apparel is all doing awesome. I want to thank everybody who's done that, who's ordered for me. Um, it's going to take about two or three weeks for some of you to get your mer merchandise. So just be patient um, and we'll see where we go. All right, Jimmies, here we go. So I'm going to do this very quickly just to kind of give you tomorrow's energy. Spirit wants to remind you, it is always up to you whether you want to accept and allow or deny these energies. So if you guys could be so kind as to share this out, thank you for all the hearts. This would be great. All right, Jimmies, let's see what we got for tomorrow. Ooh, you have the Empress, Jimmies. So the Empress is all about that thing that you've been working on or things, because I, I kind of feel like you're multitasking, but it's like not more than two, uh, two major things that you've been working on. Um, it looks like tomorrow you'll see evidence of one of those coming through. So, so, um, this is something that's very grounded, something that you've worked hard on, something that's stable and can profit a lot. That could be a relationship, that could be money, that could be finances, that could be family, that could be, it just kind of depends on what you're, where, where you've been focused on. So that comes about tomorrow for you. Uh, next are my cancers. Ooh, cancer. You got some money coming through. And I do feel like it's money, right? Thank you. Thank you. I will have a safe trip. So you have the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Coins. You see how he's put all his money in that jar. He's been saving. He's been doing. He's been working. This has to do with other people's money coming in. Uh, something that you worked for energetically, but other people's money coming in. So it could be an inheritance, it could be that loan, it could be the grant, it could be uh, a bonus at work, it could be something that it's a lump sum of money coming towards you, uh, and that could be a little lump or a big lump, it's kind of up to you and your path and where you're at. So congratulations, Cancers. Um, I know that a lot of you started getting a little worried, uh, but it's coming through, don't worry, it's coming through, relax, don't worry, okay? All right, my lovely luscious lions, you have the five of cups. So I'm sorry, the four of cups. So there is something that you guys are wanting to get to or sort of daydream about or you think about um, that you really want to come through, but you feel like it's too far away. And because it's too far away, you can become like nonchalant or kind of mm, like it's too far. I don't know that I want to go get it. It's too much work. Like that's what you're seeing it as too far away. And so with this card, um, they say, you know, take some action. You have the heart to do it because that's what the cups are about, the emotion. So you have the heart to do it. Just put the passion in it and it should come through. Okay. Again, this could be relationships. It could be uh, finances. It could be family. It could be uh, even children. It kind of depends on where you're at. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, sharing this out. Um, all right, so next are my Virgos. Virgo, you have the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is all about two people bonding. 
or two things bonding. Um, so it could be you in this relationship. It could be you in this situation. It could be you and another person. It could be you and a family member. This is two people that come together and understand each other emotionally, physically, spiritually, and mentally. So it looks like tomorrow you'll have that opportunity to do that with someone or with your situation. Okay. It's a bonding to it. It's where you understand something and you move forward together. Um, all right. So next are my beautiful balancing Libras. looks like you have the strength card. So the strength card is all about for one, keeping that ego in check. Uh, and two, understanding, <laughs> well, it looks like you're doing it again, Libra. So it looks like you have a you already have an understanding about how you want things to go, either in a relationship or a situation, and you're trying to get everybody else to see your side without pushing it onto them. And it looks like tomorrow you'll be finagling that. So um, again, this could be in several areas of your life. It depends on where you're focused. Okay, so next are my uh, Scorpios. Ooh, Scorpio, you have the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, Scorpio, right now, from now to the next, like, three months, two months, seriously, I'm seeing, like, heavy two months, for the next two months, you're going to have opportunities, you're going to have life changes, you're going to have all these things that you've been working on with Jupiter being in your house. Um, I know it's retrograde, but you're reorganizing, you're readjusting, you're completing some things. So you, as you complete things, as you reorganize, as you adjust, as you amend, as you edit, this is the wheel of fortune. You have things physically coming to you, physical. This isn't just like emotionally you have, I mean, you have that too, but it's not more, this is more the physical to me. So there's something that you've been working on that comes through tomorrow, uh, or some things that you've been working on, or maybe you even forgot you were working on it because you've been working so deeply, but you have something coming through tomorrow. So congratulations. That's fortune. Okay. So next are my Saggies. Oh, Saggy, you have new starts. So Sagittarius, you have a new start either with someone um, and this this comes out of nowhere. This sort of kind of throws you off and didn't even realize it. Um, I feel like your heads have been just steadily working and then when surprises come in, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> so you have new starts tomorrow. Uh, the energy is that it's fast, it's swift um, and you, well, I I shouldn't, I, like, I want to say you need to be on target, but you're already on target. So I feel like you'll make the steps that need to be made. You'll take the action that needs to be taken. And um, you've got so many things coming. I can't even tell you which one's coming in because you've got so many things coming in. Okay. So, um, and I'm seeing like a lot for a lot of Saggies. So uh, congratulations, Saggie. Uh, next are my Capricorns. Capricorns looks like you'll be celebrating tomorrow. It looks like, um, and this is good for you because you have been steadily working. You get so involved. You forget what's around you because you're so focused on the thing um, that this is a nice, nice, beautiful time to either spend with family, friends, or a loved one, uh, like a lover or a spouse or a girlfriend or a boyfriend, whatever that is for you. So it looks like there'll be celebration. I mean, some of you may have parties to go to. Some of you may have graduations or I don't know, something where you're spending this time together. So just remember Capricorn to enjoy the moment. Okay. Enjoy the moment. I know you're really focused on getting your life stable and getting things, but enjoy this moment because when you get there, you're going to realize that it was the journey. It was the experience of the journey, not just getting that. And so you don't want to miss the experience of the journey. Okay. All right, Aquas, what do you got? <laughs> Look, Aqua, I don't even know what to say to you. <laughs> you have to make the decision. You have to go for it. You have to tell the universe you want it. You can't just manifest and say, well, it's going to come. It's going to come, but then you get all upset when it doesn't come because you haven't put as much energy into it. You got to make the choice. You got to make the decision. You got to go create your world. Okay. So get out of your head, take some action. You know what to do already. You already know what to do. You, why do y'all have me yelling at you all the time? <laughs> you know what to do. You already said you wanted this. So go get it. It's going to come to you easy, but you have to put some effort into it. Okay. All right. 
I love you, Aqua, as you know that. You have a special place in my heart. All right, so next are my Pisces. Ooh, Pisces. Looks like you'll be in your element tomorrow. So you have the Queen of Cups. So this is more about the character for me. Uh, this could be you understanding um, this relationship or this situation or this person. Uh, the Queen always... Uh, under she has this intuitive way about her and you are really intuitive um, and so she can um, be what that person or that situation wants and needs right the issue is that she forgets herself the issue is that she forgets who she really is because she's trying to be what they want her to be so tomorrow this will be a lovely day for some of you um and if it's not you, this is somebody coming into your life. This is somebody coming in to help heal. Yeah, to help heal. Not like a drastic, drastic healing, but I feel like the soft healing. Okay. So good luck, Pisces. All right. Next are my Aries, my ride or die. Look at you, Aries. You have the seven of cups. I know you guys have been working hard. I know things haven't been going well. Um, I know they haven't been coming through as fast as you wanted them to come through, but it looks like tomorrow you get opportunity that's going to uh, make you emotionally like fulfilled. So it's not just one opportunity. You're going to see opportunity and I'm hearing, listen to the synchronicities. So if you guys are one, if your aspect is one that you understand synchronicities or watch synchronicities, then watch and pay attention because that's what they're saying. These are opportunities, seen and unseen, okay? It's kind of up to you to do what you want with it. All right, next are my Taurus. Taurus, it looks like you have the hermit. So I feel like uh, there's something that you're really wanting to do, but then part of your heart is telling you you need to do the other thing. And so you're kind of going back and forth and back and forth and you don't know which way to go and spirit is saying you don't have to go anywhere until you absolutely know what you want to do and so tomorrow they're saying if you connect to your higher self or if you're just still for a minute and ask the question you're going to be so connected that you're going to get an epiphany okay this is like not did i kind of hear it it's like i heard it this is what i need to do this is the knowing so that's kind of the space that you're going to be in sort of being up <clears throat> maybe a little isolated because you're trying to figure this out. Um, yeah. So they're saying you're wanting an excuse to be able to do it one way when you really know you should do it the other way. So whatever this is, there's no judgment. It's up to you and your path, okay? Um, and don't you don't have to make a move until you know, okay? Until you are clear and knowing and centered with yourself, okay? Um, yeah, that's very important. All right, so um, next are my, yeah, I was going really deep and I got to get back. <laughs> uh, next are, oh, that's it, Jimmy's, right? <laughs> See, I got two involved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, beautiful ones. Thank you so much for watching me. I really appreciate it. Um, I am, again, headed back to Texas and I'm wearing my California shirt. <laughs> So I love you, love you, love you. I'll see you soon. I'll be doing the, week's, uh, the week astrology stuff for tomorrow. I'll be doing it on my uh, YouTube channel, okay? Love you, love you, love you. Bye.